Good afternoon, everyone. Under Presidential Proclamation No. 130 of 1993, Pagasa was mandated to spearhead the annual celebration of National Astronomy Week or NOW, every third week of February. Today marks the start of 28th NOW with the theme, Innovations and Development of Philippine Astronomy under the New Normal. In line with the celebration of NOW, we have prepared purely online activities for the week-long celebration that suits the new normal way of learning, in which you can surely enjoy and learn from, such as the online planetarium show, the daily posting of astronomy education resources, including the special podcast episode prepared by our very own Pagasa astronomers, and last but not the least, the mobile phone Moon Silhouette Photography Contest. Moving on, to deliver her opening remarks, let's hear from Dr. Esperanza Okayanan, OIC, Office of the Deputy Administrator for Research and Development. A pleasant day to everyone. It's the third week of February and to all nature lovers, particularly the astronomy enthusiasts, this is the time for the annual celebration of the National Astronomy Week. For the past years, Pagasa has been celebrating this event through conduct of actual telescoping and stargazing sessions and live planetarium shows. Unfortunately, all of these are suspended this year due to the current COVID-19 pandemic situation. But don't you worry, because we opted to offer a series of week-long online activities which are also educational and exciting. Hence, we chose the theme, Innovations and Development of Philippine Astronomy Under the New Normal. Thanks to the technology advancement, you can enjoy the planetarium show and astronomy educational series including a special podcast episode online prepared by our very own Pagasa astronomers right in the comfort of your home. Lastly, if you are fond of photography, you can join the mobile phone Moon Silhouette Photograph Contest where modest prizes await the winners. So what are you waiting for? Take your zip, buckle up, and enjoy the week-long flight with us to celebrate the 28th National Astronomy Week. Bon voyage! Happy Valentine's! Thank you for that wonderful speech, Doc SP. It is very unfortunate that still, due to COVID-19 pandemic situation, we cannot provide the public free shows in Pagasa Planetarium and Mobile Planetarium like how we used to celebrate now in the past years. However, as promised, to make up for that, we prepared an online planetarium show for you to enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. As we celebrate National Astronomy Week this February 14 to 20, 2021, we will be providing you an online planetarium presentation made possible with the use of Nightshade software. A Nightshade software is a simulation as well as projection of celestial objects. Our purpose is to give you an update to our daytime and nighttime sky, the position of the celestial objects, such as the position of the different planets, what constellation is visible during that particular night, and also, we will teach you how to navigate in the celestial sphere with the help of the star. Also, from time to time, we will give you an update of some spectacular astronomical events. So if you feel interested in the field of astronomy, don't hesitate to comment down below on what particular topics we can offer to you. Our office will be glad to entertain positive ideas to help you during this pandemic. At first, let us discuss twilight. To begin with, let us look at the horizon of the software where we can see letter N, S, E, and W. Those four letters represent the four cardinal points, or the four directions 
where N stands for North, S for South, E for East, and W for West. This will help us to orient ourselves in applying it in the real night sky. Just after sunset, there are three different twilight. Looking west, when the sun reaches 6 degrees below the horizon, that is called the civil twilight. When the sun reaches 12 degrees below the horizon, we call it the nautical twilight. And the third is the astronomical twilight. It is when the sun reaches 18 degrees below the horizon. Since astronomical twilight, you will notice that first magnitude of stars will be visible. Once again, magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. After the sun had already set, let us discuss only the prominent object present in the sky. Looking west, you will notice a crescent moon. If you look up, you will notice a group of stars. That group of stars is called the Star Cluster of Pleiades. And this group of stars can be used to test your eyesight. If you could count seven bright stars with your bare naked eye, meaning to say you have a very clear eyesight. But if you could count five stars below, meaning to say you have poor eyesight. Beside the star cluster Pleiades, you will notice a V-shaped formation of stars with an orange star. That orange star is a star Aldebaran. It is the right eye of Taurus, part of the constellation Taurus the Bull. Then to the right of Taurus, you will see a reddish object and that is the red planet Mars, located in the constellation Aris. Besides the constellation Taurus, you will notice a three consecutive star. That is called the Belt of Orion in the constellation Orion the Great Hunter. The prominent star is the red bright star Betelgeuse. Below Orion is another prominent star and that is the star Sirius. The bright star in the constellation Canis Major. The big dog in the sky. Looking east, you will see another bright star, and that is star Procyon, the prominent star in the constellation Canis Minor, the small dog in the sky. So we have Betelgeuse, Sirius, and Procyon forms a triangle, and that is called the Winter Triangle. Looking north at around 10 in the evening, you will notice a question mark formation of star, and that is the Big Dipper. Big Dipper is composed of seven bright stars, and each stars in the question mark formation of stars have names. Starting from the bowl of the Dipper, we have Dubhe, Merak, Pekda, Megres, Aliot, Misar, and al -Qaid. And Big Dipper is not a constellation but an asterism. And it is a part of the loin and tail of the constellation Ursa Major. Still looking north by using the Big Dipper, at the bowl of the Dipper you can use star Dubhe and Barak, then count five times the distance of these two stars going downwards, it will lead you to the North Star, Polaris. It is the bright star in the constellation Ursam Minor. Approximately, it is up to Polaris to where we can locate the North Celestial Axis of the Earth. Looking south, you will see a cross formation of star. 
that is constellation Crux. And each star from the cross has its own names. Starting from the head of the cross is Gacrox, below is Acrox, to the left is Mimusa, and to the right is Delta Crox. And this is also popularly known as the Southern Cross. And at the foot of the cross marks the position of the South Celestial Axis of the Earth. As you will notice that star seems to move from east to west, but it is actually the Earth that moves 15 degrees in one hour on a counterclockwise motion. So again, the rising of our sun marks the end of my online presentation. So in behalf of Pag-asa, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat.